Good afternoon. I am here today to speak upon a matter that is what I consider to be of utmost importance for students in today's age, how to prevent bullying. Bullying has always existed. However, with a higher level of access to the internet and to social media, and in connection with cyberbullying, it is unfortunately at an all time high. So where do we begin? We are the adult figures that are supposed to be role models for our children. Almost everything students learn begins at home. Parents, we must do everything in our power to teach kindness and empathy. If we show our children the action of kindness beginning at birth and throughout their lives in our homes, students will continue to practice this at school and into adulthood. Teachers, we all understand that some students do not have the luxury of kindness and empathy in the home. Because of this, we must take action. We, as teachers, need to foster a sense of community and create a sanctuary for our students where they feel love, kindness, and safety. It has been shown that if a classroom has a tight family-like bond, it not only lowers bullying, but helps victims of bullying cope among their peers as well. Another technique I imagine beneficial is modeling appropriate behavior through role play. This can be done at home or in the classroom. Simply ask your children, how would you feel if someone said or did something mean to you? This will initiate conversation about bullying and talking about our feelings. Counseling must be available for both the bully and the victim. We must find the root cause for this behavior. More than likely, it is the bully that is a victim of a different bullying incident or their needs are simply not being met. In closing, we must remember that we may be the only positive role models these students have in their lives. It is important that we are available to guide them, whatever means necessary. Lastly, we must ensure that they feel safe and loved. Thank you.